The Clyde Marine Region is a unique area comprising of different communities both above and below the water. The region extends from the normal tidal limit of the River Clyde in Glasgow city centre seawards to the outer Firth in Argyll and Ayrshire. It includes the Clyde Sea Lochs and the islands of Arran, Butte and the Cumbries. The Clyde Marine Planning Partnership is a group of more than 20 organisations and individuals working together to ensure sustainable, coordinated management of the Clyde Marine region. My name is Anthony Gallagher and I chair the Clyde Marine Planning Partnership. The Clyde Marine Planning Partnership is a stakeholder group. It has delegated functions, so it has responsibility for producing a statutory regional marine plan for the Clyde. The Clyde Marine Planning Partnership has been in existence since 2016 and it's had this delegated function since 2017. So since then, the partnership has been working together to produce this statutory marine plan. Many different activities take place on the Clyde. These include fisheries, aquaculture, sport, recreation, tourism. The partnership includes stakeholders from a variety of industries. Together they work to achieve environmental, economic and social objectives. I'm Alison McNeil and I'm the national coordinator for the Inshore Fishery Group. Well, the Clyde is a very important fishery. Historically, it's very important for not just the fishermen, but I saw a number of the communities around the Clyde. You have to remember with fishing that you may have one band fishing at sea, but that can support 10 jobs on land. My name is Penny Hodden, I'm Site Development Manager with the Scottish Salmon Company. We as a, as a company are committed to working with and engaging with other users in the sea. Within the Clyde region we're an important employer. Across the Argyll and Butte region as a whole we employ around 180 members of staff. So it's important that we are part of the discussions in the forum that are putting together the plan to ensure that all interests of the area are accounted for. It is not just traditional users who need to have a say in how the Clyde Marine region develops. There are newer industries such as seaweed cultivation and marine renewables that are also involved. Leisure activities are just as important as industries. I'm Graham Russell. I'm the uh, Planning and Environment Officer for Royal Yachting Association Scotland. We work hard to ensure that uh, our members and indeed all boaters have access to these wonderful waters and can go about their recreation safely. People are not the only users of the Clyde. Below the water, the Clyde hosts a series of priority marine features such as burrowed mud, merl, and seagrass that support marine life including minke whale, basking shark, Atlantic salmon, lobster, scallops. The process of developing a marine plan begins with an assessment of the region. The assessment identifies those issues which particularly need to be addressed. The larger overpinning challenge is to do with climate change and how that affects the region, both in terms of the ecosystems and the, the species that live here, but also in terms of our use of that environment and the risks associated with living along coastal areas. Well, really, in terms of fisheries, there are huge issues with regards to fish populations, for example. The, there are fish species out there which used to be commercially fished and are no longer fished. And I think some of the challenges are to, get, to identify issues which the partnership can agree to collectively. One of the biggest challenges is actually where the land meets the sea because people on land often don't understand the issues relating to what's going on the water and people on the water often forget that there are people on the shore trying to make a living and, and doing all these other sorts of things. The Regional Marine Plan interprets and supports Scotland's National Marine Plan to help protect this area for humans and wildlife alike. Once adopted by ministers, the plan will become the first statutory marine plan for the Clyde. All public authorities will take decisions in the region in accordance with the regional marine plan. Being part of the Clyde Marine Planning Partnership means we are the heart of decision making. We are making plans for the future. We would like to see lots of people out there enjoying themselves safely on the water vibrant communities, places that you can go to and visit. The Inshore Fisheries Group has objectives for, for fisheries management in the Clyde and there are a number of areas we would like to see improvements and these improvements in fisheries could help not just the fishermen but the communities around the Clyde as well. So the Scottish Salmon Company's vision for the Clyde Marine Region is one where we can work together with our, our fellow users and interest groups in the sea to make sure that development is sustainable in the, in the region going forward. 
Members of the public are, are very much central to the development of the regional marine plans. The Clyde's a fantastic marine area. It's a large and complex area for Scotland and bringing those competing interests together to enable the ecosystems to be enhanced and protected better and also to allow for sustainable communities and sustainable industries to grow and be supported is it's very important. The partnership continues to encourage the public to play an active part in marine planning and implementation of the Regional Marine Plan. To find out more information, visit the Clyde Marine Planning Partnership website or follow us on Twitter.